morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Monday the 3rd of April and I am going out with Granny Annie today so I thought I would take you along with us. We are actually going to meet a lovely viewer called Cathy. Now I mentioned Cathy a few vlogs ago because she's a very good crafter and she's got a Facebook page called Clover Thistles and I linked her, her Facebook page then for you to look at. She sells a whole load of different sort of Scottish themed crafts. She mainly does uh, buttonholes, horseshoes, things like that for weddings, but she also does basically anything that you can think of um, and just puts her own little Scottish twist on it. So we're going to meet her today because we've been chatting back and forward by email. I've got loads to talk to her about you know we're crafting and she's got lots of tips on doing craft fairs and things which I'm wanting to do later this year so she's gonna these dogs already it's quarter past eight in the morning and I'm surprised the whole village isn't awake so yeah I'm wanting to talk to her about crafts and things like that I think she's actually bringing some of hers with her so if so I'll get them on video for you I've not actually asked her if she wants to be in the vlog I'm sure she'll be fine Anyway, um, and Granny Annie has been chatting away to her by email as well because she's a keen paranormal investigator and Granny Annie loves all that stuff. Um, so they've got a lot to talk about as well. It's going to be a really fun lunch, I think. So we're meeting about quarter to twelve at Henry Bell, which is Wotherspoons, and we are going to have a bite of lunch and chat and chat and chat. We're going to be ladies what lunch today and it should be fun. So yeah I thought I would just take you along with us and see how it goes. Really looking forward to it. It's strange because there's a lot of viewers that are quite local to me and uh, we keep saying oh we'll meet up and never get around to it but somehow we've managed to actually arrange this. Um, Audrey, if you're watching, I've not forgotten about us meeting up. We'll need to get that arranged soon. Anyway, I'm havering and going completely off topic as always. So my dad's going to be taking us in and we'll be leaving probably about 11 o'clock. So I've got a good couple of hours before then. I am going to, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to start a diamond painting. I don't want to do any resin crafting when I'm getting ready to go out. So I might start a new diamond painting, but I have got a couple of orders to bag as well. In our last vlog, I told you that I had orders for um, Auntie Mary for people at our Reno unit. And I was hoping to get them done then, but I didn't. I have got them done now, but I've got a couple that need to go in bags. So I'll show you them just now. And also, Granny Annie has sold all the boxes that we had on our shop. Not actually through the shop, but the good thing about it is it's a good platform for people to look at. So it's it's all people we know that are buying, but they've got somewhere that they can look at everything. We did try Facebook, but oh, I'm terrible with Facebook. Anyway, um, so Granny Annie has pretty much sold all of our boxes. And my Aunt Mary's a great salesperson. She goes and tells everybody about everything and shows them pictures. And before you know it, they're sold. I'm going to let you see those orders just now because I did say in the last vlog that I would show you them when they were done. As you can see, I've been doing more of my adult colouring. That's the Stranger Things Dots, Lines and Spirals. So, look, he <laughs> can't remember his name. Let me show you these. So... I had an order for two pairs of the moon earrings. I don't know if you can see them very well. So there's one. And there is two. This is actually an order for Ainsley, who does Abby's hair. When we were at the Cancer Research Coffee Morning last week, which, by the way, they raised over £2,000, which is amazing. Um, I had some cloud earrings in the... And amongst all the jewellery that I had gifted for the raffle. And Ainsley saw them. She went, oh, I want a pair of them. So they're for Ainsley. I got an order for two. It was actually this one that she saw at first. So it's the the chain, the red with the silver detail pendant. I said on my shop that for, if it's your first order, if you buy this pendant, you get the matching adjustable ring free. So um, someone ordered it in red and someone ordered it in any colour, so I did it in gold. 
which I think is nice as well. Um, I'm not very good at packaging them, as you can see. I need to look into doing that better. Uh, this isn't an order, but it's going to be a one of a kind on my shop because um, the three bezels, the silver um, rings, they actually came off a necklace that I had and I've not got any more of them. So this is going to be the only one of its kind um, that I'm going to put on my shop. So I need to get that in a bag as well. I need to get it photographed. So that's the orders that I had. A couple of other things that I've made that I can show you. Look at the gonk decoration. I love him. I think he's really cute. And I just put 2023 on the back. I like having dates on ornaments especially if they're handmade because you know when it was they were made and i've got these as well so there's a, a lovely little christmas tree and that's a actually a diamond painting drill star that's on there i've not put anything on the back of that one a little snowflake look and a little dog tag and i just put best friend on it because obviously people would be there we go. People would be um, personalising it with their own dog name or whatever. So I just put best friend so that you can see uh, what it would look like with a name on it. And it can be any colour. This um, glittery resin, I basically had made too much. So I poured it into those three moulds just to use it up. That's all I can show you just now because the other things are um, part of my crafting chat video. Uh, in my last vlog I told you I was going to be demoulding some resin ornaments in my crafting chat video which I have but it was going to be huge, it was going to be way too long so the one that's going up on Wednesday is going to be demoulding everything and then next week it's going to be using my Cricut Joy to personalise them with vinyl and then the very last week is going to be using the UV resin to finish them off. So, yeah, it's going to be like a wee mini-series, if you like. Hello, Clyde. Hi. There he is. There's the boy. There's the boy. Look <laughs> at that stump going. Yes, I see you. I know they're very noisy, aren't they? Look at you trying to be innocent. You're just as bad. You are so... So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to... Oh, actually, I didn't show you this. What the person who ordered the red pendant and ring wanted a bracelet to match and I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> I don't really I've not really made a lot of bracelets. And so I've almost finished it. I just need to finish the, the knot off. But I made that. What do you think? I think it matches. Hold on. So that's the set. I think that's quite nice. Um so I just, I need to try and figure out how to secure this knot um, in the elastic without worrying about it snapping and without it looking awful. So I'm going to do that just now. And then once I've done that, oh, I'm going to shoot the dogs. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. But I love the dogs to bits, even when they do bark constantly. Um, yeah, so once I've done that, I'm going to start my diamond painting, I think. So I'll head off just now and I'll come back to you later on, probably when we're getting ready to go out to meet Cathy. Right, have a good day. Be careful, okay? Be have sensible. They're going to uh, the shows, going to Carmel. What? Uh, Silverburn. Silverburn. You're going to Silverburn. Who's burning the silver? Yeah. Good morning, Granny Annie. Good morning. Can you not speak? No. Oh, jo oh, good. We'll get peace. <laughs> I can taste that in language, though. <laughs> That's us in the car heading off. It's 11 o'clock. Fruit is going into the cabin just now, and then she's going to a carnival this afternoon at Silverburn with her friend. That will be fun. But we're all looking forward to going to see Cathy, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we should have told her to like bring a bunch of flowers or something so we knew it was her. <laughs> Huge. Hi, Hello, and look at that, she must Hi. have read my mind, she's got flowers. <laughs> Hello, it's lovely to see you. Aye, that would be an idea. Very good. Thank you very much. 
That was perfect timing as we pulled up with spotted Cathy in her car just opposite us. And, and imagine her having flowers. As soon as she got them out, we were like, no way, after me saying, no, I should have told her to bring flowers so we recognise her. <laughs> that was crazy. So nice of her. Right, that's her just in the Henry Bell. We'll decide what we're having to eat and then we'll get chatting. So, oh, oh, for your wrists, of course, strength. like this, this is what it is. Ah, yeah. It's like when you get these rules. Oh, I mean, yes. Oh, ah. not bad. So they're, they're not so that cheap. Yeah. So that's what they're like. That's gorgeous. What a lovely um, idea. Wow. Jeez. How effective is that? But you do all different colours and everything. This is just for a lady that's got a, a pink like a blush pink dress and she wants something dusty pink so that's why I did that. This is just some new colours that I've been doing. Oh, they're beautiful colours, aren't they? A, this is the, the tartan, the royal pride, just the tartan that they did for Prince William's wedding. Ah, okay. That's the royal pride. <laughs> Glitter. <laughs> Again, just like oh. roses. With the heathers. I do a lot of Scottish buttonholes. Um, I've just done a, I've just done a massive. So there's not much left. Um, I do them with the thistles, but I've run out of that because um, I've just done a big order for a shop there, and they said they were selling them from from the from the box. I didn't even get them out the box. And wow! They were from the box when it, it arrived. That's amazing, isn't it? Well, I've had that done to me in Edinburgh. Yeah. I delivered and on the Royal Mile and they were lifting out my magnets and my earrings and I went, you can't touch these. I'm delivering. <laughs> <laughs> they not price or anything. Jeez, oh. Yeah. Name my Heathers. But this, oh, I've got the, I've so that's how I start. That's not finished. It's right. Heathers, well, that I've cut down and then I take them up and then... Is that real? No, that everything's artificial. It looks real, it doesn't looks it? Real. It's smashing. They're really nice good. I'm um, doing a photo shoot. Well, I'm not doing a photo shoot. Um, tie the knot, ready. Yeah. I can see them coming tomorrow to pick up. Yeah. Um, Very good. We need you a photo shoot. No, do they're at Loch Lomond this do week. Do oh, yeah, a little diamond. Too. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. So I have these in all different colours. Like there's a the blue, there's a the coral. We do pink. I do all the every colour. What a mess that one. Well, the grey one. It's lovely, That's isn't a, it? I really. You you'll get people that want fancy, and others just want plain. Plain. Yeah. Beautiful. So they're lovely. I just, I just do the colour that the bride the bride wants. Yeah. The groom, the bride. Oh, of course. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Brides the boss. are up. <laughs> oh, good. I was hoping you would what? bring this sort of thing. I forgot to bring the horseshoes as well, but I, I think you've seen them. I've seen yeah. them on your Facebook page, yeah. yeah they've started off doing this, a Kieran, and this is because I was making horseshoes. I wanted to design a horseshoe, and I designed one. I wanted it with two thistles. Are you vlogging? Mm -hmm. 
didn't know that. Is that okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep that in. <laughs> you're so good. Oh. But you're so let's, natural let's when the, you don't let's know. Get the voice on. <laughs> now make me size 10. Right, okay, I'll put a filter on. Right. So I, wow. I wanted the horseshoe, so I wanted a thistle. Mm -hmm. And I got someone to cut it for me, design it for me, and I loved it. And then when he gave me a. he done the, the horseshoe with the two thistles, and I thought, I wonder if I can make that a key ring. Ah, and right, this okay. Is how this all started. So I go into different shops. In different areas, and I'll take something that's like, like um, obviously I do the keyring. So that's the keyrings. I do them in magnets as well. That's the piper. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Dundrogan Castle. So I'll go to ah, right. Farms Castle and say I'll do the castle. Okay. I'll castle for you, design it for you. So I do. Ah, good idea. What's the word? Landmarks. Yes. That's what I do. Yes. Love that. So that's Dunrobin Castle, which is wow. like a fairy castle. So, so where do you get the actual wooden bit? Do you these are cut on a big laser machine. Right, okay. And the sheets. I take it you've not so got all, the I have the laser oh, machine. Oh you have got yes. the laser Oh yeah. see, I've been wanting one of them. <laughs> it's very complicated, but it's, that's it. We're we're joining her in our unit. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can come. I did Robert the Bruce. Oh wow! Oh, that's fab. <laughs> really? Yes. Robert the Bruce. And I've done the Kelpies. <gasps> Yay, Falkirk! Yeah. So clever. Thanks. And I have a lovely guy called. Uh, Stuart, who's a graphic designer, so he's been doing it for me because I've had so much going on yeah. and everything. So he's been doing a lot of the designs for me, and we wait to do Outlander. Okay. And it's Abby, Glans, was Abby was an Outlander. Glans Castle. Glans Castle. Oh. That was the first one I'd done because I lived half a mile from. Glans, of course, so of course, yeah. Oh, well, we process. love Glans, yeah. Um, yeah. And then we've done, I, I sell them to Isle of Sky, no, away up north. Loch Lomond, yeah. Yeah, Loch Lomond. Yeah. Yeah. They're the 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 lovely. Lomond, they're they're lovely. Lomond, yes. What's that? <laughs> well, that's us back in the car. It's 25 past two. Just waiting to Cathy. That was two and a half hours we were blethering. Wow. It was so nice to meet her, wasn't it? It was brilliant. She's full of stories. It was great. Full of stories about... Wow crafting and about fairs and about haunted things and oh it was just so good we could just more than that we could have sat there for another two hours Easy. um but i better get home to feed the puppies because they'll wake jack up wanting their dinner um time. what aye i think we're nipping to morrison's first and then we will Did head home morrison's uh -huh. no right well, didn't you go no no you can go if you want no, i'm not you. fast oh. Maybe we're not going to Morrison's. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head back now. So it was lovely to meet Kathy. And uh, I'm going to go back and see what I'll get up to. Maybe some more of my dining painting. We'll see how the head is. <laughs> Look at the chef at work. <laughs> what are you making? Uh, usual occasion chicken, cream cheese, pasta. Thing. Yum. Creamy Cajun chicken pasta. <laughs> He's got his boxers on. <laughs> Was it a hard day at work? Yeah. Oh, of course so it is. I'll be busy for the next two weeks. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Look at Willa, ever hopeful. Please, well, I, I was I was lying down and Adam had to message me and go, can you watch the food for two minutes while I pee? <laughs> <laughs> because Willa would steal it. <laughs> Although when he makes this, he uses every pot and pan and dish in the house. I come through and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, she has a got me for it. This so yeah, Adam can put the dishwasher on tonight. <laughs> but put the dishes in it first. <laughs> the other night I said to them, when you've had your dinner, will you put the dishwasher on? Yeah, no bother. So they had their dinner. Adam put their dishes in the sink and put the dishwasher on. I got up in the morning and I was like... I kind of meant that there wasn't enough in the dishwasher until you'd had your dinner. <laughs> Hey-ho! <laughs> so there we go, another day done. 
and I've had a lovely day. It was really, really good. As you can see, I'm in my jammies. I came home, fed the dogs, and thought, right, I'll go and lie down for half an hour, let my painkiller kick in, and I fell asleep. <laughs> so I've just started to get hungry. It's a, almost seven o'clock, I think. So I decided to come through. I'm going to make myself a couple of hot cross buns because I'm not hungry enough for a dinner. That uh, lunch was really nice. I had a haggis and cheese panini. My dad, <laughs> my dad decided to be smart and he got the chipotle chicken wrap that the doll had the last time we were there when my mum's cousin was here. And my mum kept saying, oh, my mouth's burning off, it's too hot. And there was steam coming out of here. My dad's like, oh, it was nice, I'll have it. Yeah, steam coming out his ears after the first bite. This is hot. <laughs> yes, it is. We did warn you. Um, my mum had a barbecue chicken panini and Cathy had small fish and chips, which was huge. So, yeah, it was really good. We chatted for ages and we could have kept chatting. It was so nice. Cathy's like one of these people that you feel like you've known forever when you meet and you just talk. There was no awkward silence. There was none of that. It was so nice. Really nice to see her. And she gave me a wee present. She brought me a present after watching me doing the vlog on... Um, Making the t-shirt, it was my craft and chat video when I was showing you how to put vinyl on a t-shirt and I said I'd just eyeball it. She gave me the actual um, ruler type things that you use to get the centre right and it's got like adult and child and toddler and I thought a lovely thing to do so that was really nice. Thank you for that Cathy. Um, and she brought us our flowers as well. And you'll have seen that she brought a lot of the stuff that she makes. Her stuff is fantastic. I didn't realise that she sells as much as she actually does, like that she creates as much as she does. And uh, yeah, it was just amazing. She's such a fascinating lady. It was really nice. And she was fair away with Granny Annie's boxes as well and gift bags. She was like, God, I didn't realise that the camera doesn't do them justice. She says they're really nice and sturdy um, in real life. She says you don't think that when you see it on video. So there you go. So yeah, it was really good. I didn't do any more diamond painting, but I did. I'll show you the one that I've started. It was this one from New Crafty. This was one of the gifted ones. And I've only done a tiny wee bit of his hat just now, but I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, we'll carry on with that. So I'm going to head off for just now. I thought I'll just finish this vlog for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've not heard from Brooke yet. She was away when we got back. She's away to a carnival at Silverburn. Um, I didn't even know they, they had carnivals there. I think it's only for a short period of time. Um, so their they're session's five till nine, I think, tonight. And one of her friend's mum's taken them. Not hanging about with them at the carnival. She'll go into the shopping centre and uh, then bring them back again. But I thought that's really nice. A nice way for her to start her Easter holidays. Uh, an expensive way, but Granny Annie paid for her tickets. I think it was £20 to get in. Then you get on as much rides as you want, I think. Um, and I gave her money for snacks and things like that. So we will find out how that went. Um, I'll be well sleeping by the time she gets in tonight. So I'll talk to her tomorrow or... I might um, get her to tell you all about it when I'm next vlogging. So I'm going to head off for just now. I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Talk to me in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.